What's cracking? What's cracking? Black Gadget TV. Black Gadget TV. Thank you for tuning in to Black Gadget TV. This little short one's going to be about traveling. Traveling. Passport bros, passport sisters, whatever you want to call the stuff here. People traveling. I told you before, you got to be careful where you go at. You know what I'm saying? It's all fine, Dan. Listen to videos. People tell you all the pros of this place here, how the females treat you, how how they cut your toenails, and they put spoons of food in your mouth and things like that there, right? But you got to be careful. You got to be careful, you know what I'm saying? I tell you the brothers out there going out to this um, Medellin out there in Colombia, what's happened to these fools out there, huh? They're getting killed. They're being killed. You got murders out there, you know what I'm saying? If the State Department is going to say a travel warning, that means... Things that hit the fan down there. They hit the fan down there. I'm saying, this, like I said before, there's a more crimes happening to Americans out there than are being reported. Why? Because men have pride. Men don't want to go out there and make some kind of big report there. Say he got drugged, stripped butt naked, you no know, passport, passport, everything got them going. Or he got got them um, we call drugged and got they got um, raped. No, any kind of crazy things like that. He didn't want that to have show out there. So he's like, fuck it. I'm going to take this L and get the hell out of there and go back home. That's what happened. But these passport sisters, they won't call themselves now, how they want to travel around the world. Always, I've been saying for a couple of years now, a few years now, you know, sister, real fucking naive. You think y'all can go anywhere around the world and just live. Y'all are not men. Think back in days, had explorers. Was there any female explorers? That you know? No, there was not. All the spoils were men. This is a men thing here. Or you feel some going to other countries out here with no man. I mean, you're not protected. But that means, I mean, y'all are food. Y'all are food. They see y'all as food. Especially the African-American women. They see y'all as food. Why? Because all they see of African-American women are them shaking their butts. Do, 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 do. Shaking their asses always, you know? Dressing whatever it is. want to show their butts. When show their chest, always these promiscuous things they do in there. So therefore, men throughout the world, when they see y'all, they look like you a target. They say, yeah, I'm going to have some sex with her. You know, she easy. They like it. You know what I'm saying? They, you got, see the way they act? They promiscuous. You know what I'm saying? They showing their butt always. So I'm, I want me some of her. So therefore, so when y'all go out there, these um, places, say like um, Gambia, you got five Americans killed in Gambia. Five American women and one British lady got killed. But then think of four or five months. No one's saying nothing about this stuff here. Talk going to Gambia. Y'all making your videos, your females out there. Oh, this world is out here. It's so lovely now. Oh, my, my, my high blood pressure has went away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to empty the goddamn crate. You're going to empty the crate. Because they go out there naive. You know, all this um, peace and love and stuff. They see girls out there. There's one female there. She's an obese female there. Tell me how the Ghana men love her. How they love her? Yeah, they love you. For what? For what? Huh? They got a lot of fat women in Africa. Fine. They got some fine fat women in, in, in Africa. I'm telling you, with round booties and nice chests. You know what I'm saying? Not these little sloppy ass ones, you know, dents in the butt there, flat pancakes there. And they go to, go to Africa and say, oh, they love me. They don't love me. They want a fucking visa. Just like the other female out there, we're called K and K Squad. Huh? She married some African dude there. Uh, it surprised me because uh, before that, she was married to a brother, American brother. They was out there traveling out there in Ghana and things like that. I guess um, they broke up. She quick, fast, went back to Ghana and married a Ghanaian. He took his ass to Mexico and he left fast. You know, he wanted the visa. Don't blame him. She's so stupid. So stupid do shit like that there. You had a man, an African-American man, but you left that dude there. You now you went to another country with the kids and everything. I mean, so they're, they're, they're from New Jersey. It's packing the house up. I mean, so the video that does, oh, they're they going to do it. A couple months later, I go and look on the internet there. She was some other dude there. God damn. These African-American women, they don't, they, 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 um, they don't make views about y'all. They don't make views about y'all because ain't too many y'all running around there. But the ones that do that there, y'all have sex with any goddamn thing. Yeah, so I don't hear that bullshit. I've lived overseas for a long time. And for the American women out there, they have sex with... Any, any kind of race out there. They don't care. I'm going to say something wrong with it. So try to act like when men do it, like it's some kind of big thing. Because females are doing it too. You know, say, so go out to Gambia, what happened? They're getting killed over land. Yeah, they want to buy a house of land, to hook up with some, some dude there, try and trust them, whatever it is. These people are corrupt and greedy. Then they kill them. Try to take their land from them. What other reasons they kill these females for? 
Huh? No one's saying nothing about it. Oh, come to Gambia. Come this and that. You females, y'all can go anywhere you want to go. But you better have a man. If you go by yourself, play on I'm, I'm independent boss bitch shit there, you'll be sending your ass back to America in a goddamn coffin. That's what's going to happen. They're taking their land from these people there. All you brothers out there going to Columbia, Medellin, and shit like that there, y'all better be careful out there. You better be careful. I advise you need to let that shit go. You know what I'm saying? It happens like that. Once you get a lot of brothers up popping up now, once we'll start saturating the place like this, dear, they'll say, like, yeah, your targets. All y'all coming down there showing money. They show one guy there from a club making it rain, throwing singles out there. Everyone's still looking at them. They don't do shit like that, dear. But you got some dumb American fool out there want to throw money around like it's nothing to me. Yeah, it's nothing to me. Huh? What happens to him later on? Huh? He meets up with these goddamn girls. She you know, hooked up with her, her boys or her, her brothers, whatever it is, part of the gang. You get your ass robbed. These fools out there deserve that shit, dear. You, you deserve a little um, misery in your life to make you wake up. You no, know, make you wake up now. Once they get taken, they laptops and everything, wake up 11 o'clock the next guy, that everything's going. Now they, their heads on swoon in. They're like, okay, here's what I got to do. It's a learning experience. So your brothers go out there to get met these big booty girls and make these dumb ass videos with these girls here. They don't care goddamn thing about you. They will. They will do you. They will do you. And all you other dudes out there, nothing about them. Father, get off out here. But these brothers that had these videos out there. Most asked me, yeah, uh, you was in Thailand. Why ain't putting no videos out there? But with the females and all stuff. There. I was like, man, come on. Huh? Females. I didn't go out there for females. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like, these dudes. These are, um, these, um, vagina hungry, thirsty dudes that had gone out there for that there. It wasn't all about that there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, why should I go to another place out there and make videos of me inside some massage parlor, some lady giving me a massage, or cutting my toes, or massaging my legs and my feet? What kind of shit is that there? Only suckers do things like that. I get that shit done at home. <laughs> Normal. I'm for my woman. So it's no kind of special thing for me to sit there inside Thailand. Get my fingernails done, and my toenails done, or massage and show like, oh, see, this is what this is what I'm getting. Y'all not getting here. If y'all not getting massage and your teeth, your um, toes and stuff cut and manicure and things like that from your female, doesn't matter where you at. I'm getting fuck you in goddamn New York City, fucking um, California, whatever, around anywhere around the world. If she's not doing that there, you better get you a new bitch. And I'm my fair piece.